morning. I'm going to say good morning because you're probably in bed. This particular yin class is just a few poses uh, that you can do in bed when you wake up. Um, if you're like me, a little bit too reliant on that snooze button, but you may as well utilize that time <coughs> and uh, while you are snoozing and waking up, you can just set a three minute alarm countdown on your phone, on your watch. Drop into a little yin pose, three minutes later, just swap sides. Just utilize that snooze time. Um, or just nice to wake up, have a lazy morning. No alarm, even better. And just do a little bit of yin in bed. I mean, why not? Um, so yeah, because it's yin in bed, you can do it in the evening if you want, anytime. Anytime's a good time to be in bed, isn't it really? <laughs> Not mess around. Um, but just start uh, laying down on your back. It's a comfortable position. You'll be ready. Nice little stretch. <coughs> stretching the toes, stretching the arms, a little movement through the fingers, <coughs> maybe a circle of the ankle, circle of the wrists. Whatever feels nice. Just closing the eyes down. And just settling into a nice still position. Just going to take a nice steady inhale in through the nose, just expanding the belly, expanding the chest, feel that pressure build into the back as you breathe in nice and deep. A nice release inside, out through the mouth just to release any tension. Have a nice deep inhale in through the nose, nice and deep. Doesn't matter if it's quick or slow, but just expanding the body to your lung capacity. A nice release inside, out through the mouth, whenever you're ready. And one more, more nice deep inhale. In through the nose, nice and deep again, expanding the, the breath, the chest, the lungs, the diaphragm, or reshaping the diaphragm. <clears throat> Getting that chi energy into the body, that pranic energy into the body. A nice release inside, out through the mouth as well. You just surrender control of the breath. Just allowing the awareness to, to drop into the sensations that come with the breath. So it may be nice and warm and cosy under the duvet, but there might be a slight freshness in the air as you breathe in, that cool air going in up the nostrils. Just seeing if it's a constant stream of cold air from the tip of the nose into the throat or do whether the breath fades in and fades out in different areas. Exploring the sensations change as they move from the throat into the chest, the belly or the mouth. And back out again, just reversing the process on the exhale. But just feeling into the sensations rather than trying to control the breath. Just taking the awareness down into the toes. Just feeling how your feet are, and it should be nice and warm, nice and cozy. Just checking in, observing any sensations of tightness maybe, or maybe any areas of softness in the body, through the feet, up through the legs. See how your hips are feeling, your back's feeling. Just bringing your awareness into the body as a whole. Generally, if it is in the morning now, you're going to feel quite tight. Maybe if it's at the end of a long day, you're feeling quite open and relaxed. Or the muscles are warm. So just checking in with the body, no judgment, no expectation, and no certain way that we should be feeling. We're just tuning in to how we are feeling. 
not how we want to feel, not how we have felt in the past. Just the here and the now. We're going to start off in banana asana. And for that, we're just going to walk the feet over so our hips don't move. We want to keep both bum cheeks on the floor. Shuffle the feet over to the left. If the head, you can use the head, kind of walk the head and the shoulders over to the left, but keep the hips flat on the floor so both bum cheeks are on the floor. We're not rolling onto the left side. We're essentially creating a nice crescent moon shape through the body or a banana shape through the body. So the feet walk over to the left, the shoulders walk over to the left, but the hips stay exactly where they are. Both sit bones on the floor. Take the arms up overhead if it's available. Maybe we take the right wrist in the left hand and just gently a little bit of energy through that left arm, pulling the right arm over. Okay, if this isn't uh, available, you can just let the arms fall out to a T, wherever the shoulders end up that we can soften into. Okay, it might be that you've got one arm up overhead, but you've got one tight shoulder and that's down by the side. Okay, listen to your body. Don't force the body into any position, especially during snooze alarms. Maybe that right ankle can cross over the left foot. But again, once you're there, if you relax that leg, or when you relax that leg, that foot just wants to slide off and drop to the floor. Just allow it. And once you're into your position, finding your edge, just soften into it. Okay, let the body find the pose. A nice gentle warming stretch up the right side of the body. Maybe a subtle little compression down the left side. Warming up through the gallbladder meridian channels. Good for courage, creativity. It's really good for insomnia. If you are doing this just before bed, it's going to be really good for that. Just checking your awareness, meeting any thoughts as they float away into the distance, just coming back to the body, coming back to the sensations. and gently, if you are holding the wrist, just gently release. Maybe that you move the shoulders across first, maybe that you do the feet, 
really matter, just coming back to a nice straight line through the body. <clears throat> and shuffling the feet over to the right side. Shuffle the shoulders over to the right side. So finding that little crescent moon shape or that banana shape through the body. Maybe that left ankle crosses over the right, but if it wants to just fall back to the floor, just allow it again. One side's gonna be different to the other. Maybe the arms go up overhead. Maybe you can take that left wrist in the right hand this time. But if the shoulder's peeling off the floor and you find yourself rolling over, just relax, let go of the wrist, let the arm drop out to the side. Okay, let the body find the pose rather than pushing or holding the body into a position. Okay, time is just up. It's not a competition, not with yourself, not with anybody else. It's not a competition between the left side of your body and the right side of your body. They are all wonky. Just embrace and soften into that wonkiness. releasing any resistance, whether it be thoughts from the mind or contraction from the body. Just observe and release. and journey. <clears throat> Just releasing the feet, <coughs> dropping the shoulders back <coughs> to centre, feet back to centre. Releasing the arms down the side of the body. And just taking a moment here, nice anatomical position, just releasing the shoulders. Hands down the side of the body. Nice space between the feet, just let the body dissolve.
to the bottom. Here we're just going to bring the heels towards the bum and the soles of the feet together so that the knees fall out to the side. Good thing about doing this in bed, you've got the weight of the quilt or the duvet just to gently pull on the knees, pulling them down towards the floor. Okay. Tighter the heels are towards the bum, the more intense it's going to be in the inner thighs. Going to what's available. Again, option, arms down the side, arms up to a T. Maybe you can open up and get nice length through the body, taking the arms up overhead. Finding what works for your shoulders, again, soften into your shoulders. If you find your arms are sticking up in the air, then just release. General rule of thumb is when the elbows touch the floor, you can just soften completely into the shoulders. Okay. You've got one knee higher than the other. So for example, if that left knee is higher than the other, maybe you just shuffle the feet over to the right, just to find a little equal stretch through each adductor. Softness is key. into the body. and gently. Just bringing the arms down the side of the body. <clears throat> it's quite nice just to keep the legs relaxed but use the hands to draw the knees back together. Might be nice to bring the knees into the body. Just pulling them together and up towards the chest. Doesn't need to be a super deep hold. And then just releasing feet down to the end of the bed, end of the mat, wherever you're at. Arms down the side of the body, just release. Let the body soften and settle.
to the bottom. Nice and gently rolling off to the left side <coughs> and all the way over to your belly. Might need a little bit of movement here, just lifting the bum a little tabletop. Uh, we're going to bring the left knee forward and take the left foot up towards the right hand. Okay, we're going to roll back down. Maybe that right foot's able to walk back a little bit to help draw the hips down. We're going to soften. If you find yourself rolling off to the right side, you can just grab a pillow and just tuck it underneath the ribs so you can soften down. Okay, having that support underneath the ribs just stops you rolling off to the side and stops you engaging into the shoulders so you can really soften down as much as possible. Likewise, if you're rolling off to the right side, you've got something underneath the bum or underneath that thigh just to support yourself from rolling off to the right or left. So. Nice swan pose, just softening. Maybe the arms go straight out overhead. Maybe you've run out of room in bed and you cross the arms. Maybe your forehead's on a pillow. Nice and soft in that left hip, in that left thigh. And predominantly back into that gallbladder meridian line, but you might be feeling it in the inner thigh. A minute ago, spleen, kidney, and liver meridian line through the inside of the leg. Something in the jaw, something in the belly, something in the hips and the thigh, allowing the law of density to gently pull you down through the floor, through the mattress. Gently. Bring the arms back from underneath the pillow, <coughs> gently pressing into the hands. Bring that right knee in to come up to a little forward. If there's room, you can stretch out that left leg, pressing back. It'll release you. And when you're ready, bringing that left knee down. I'm going to bring the right knee up to the top of the mat, right foot up towards that left hand. Maybe. That left foot's able to shuffle back a little bit. It helps draw the hips down closer to the floor. All that. 
walking your arms forward, maybe you're staying up on your elbows here, maybe there's a pillow underneath your chest, your ribs, or your right sit bone. Maybe your elbows are sliding forward and you're giving a little pillow a hug around the head. And soften. Supports are really good here, it really enhances the pose by allowing you to relax as much of the body as possible. Completely releasing to the shoulders, the belly, the back, the hips, the thighs. So again, then I stretch across the front of that left leg, that back leg. Getting into the stomach meridian channel through the quad, the hip flexor. Compression into the forehead here is glad the meridian line. If your nose is getting squished, it's a stomach meridian channel. So what's going on potentially? Softening into that hip, softening through the body, exploring where these sensations move to, how they get there, how far they go without resistance. Gently from here, and just roll off to the right side a little bit if that's available. Maybe coming into your tabletop if that's more accessible for your hips. But as we were in bed and you're snoozing, maybe feeling a little bit lazy and dopey, you can just roll off to the right onto your back. It's up to you if you're here, if you want to take a nice little stretch, tips of fingers down to the tips of the toes, or Maybe bring the knees into the body, give yourself a little hug and squeeze. Just as a transition. We're coming into a rebound pose, nice anatomical position. So 60 seconds rebound here, let the body adjust, let it settle. Maybe you observe as the body settles. Maybe you Set your mind free between sensation, between thoughts. Just find peace in that quietness, in that stillness.
to the body. Uh, we're actually going to roll off to the left hand side. Roll off to the left. <clears throat> we're going to take that left arm out in front of the left shoulder. We're going to bring the knees up in front of the hips. Uh, right angle at the hips, right angle at the knees where possible. This left shoulder and left arm. Let's see if we can shuffle that forward a little bit to initiate a twist through the upper body. Again, when you're doing this in bed, it's going to be quite nice because you've got the weight of the quilt pushing the knees down. If you're not in bed, you can grab a bolster, drop it over the knee. It doesn't matter if that right arm dangles in the air or if it's uncomfortable, you can support around the elbow area. So you're not just bending into the arm there, you're supporting underneath the elbow. So the arm remains relatively straight. And just close the eyes down, taking you anything into the body, into these little epicenters of sensation. Soften into those epicenters of sensation. And as the body softens, allow the awareness to soften into the sensation moving through the tissue. As the tissue gets marinated and blood and enzymes, nutrients, hydration, nourishment. a nice stretch if you're waking up. It releases the torso, hips and shoulders. And just hydrating and nourishing that tissue, the muscles, the skin, opening up the blood vessels. Softening the tissues give it elasticity to not only open up and lengthen but also to return back to its original form and shape afterwards. Bringing that right arm up and over, just to release the twist from the spine. Before rolling onto your back. Squaring off a little bit, a little adjustments of the hips. Rolling off to the right side, so again that right angle at the hips. Right angle at the knees. Maybe the bolster on the outside of the knees just helps weigh the knees together. It doesn't matter if the knees touch, but having that pressure there really allows you to just relax into the hips, even if the knees peel away from each other. That right arm shuffles off, right shoulder shuffles forward to create space to release the left arm off to the left side. You don't need to look in either direction, just relax the neck. Let the body be heavy. Let it melt away.
Isso é né? a New Existence. Again, if you're doing this before you get out of bed, it's nice activation into the vagal nervous system to calm the mind, preparing you for your busy day, if it's going to be busy. Clears the mind, steadies the mind, regulates the breathing. So you can tackle things from a calm and assured, sensible manner. This is a pose before bed, and it's going to help drop your heart rate, slow down your breathing, again calming the senses down into that parasympathetic nervous system. You'll be able to drop off into a nice deep restful sleep after preparing the body to slow down. Nice and gently, just bringing that left arm up and over. It's just to release the twist from the spine. And then rolling back onto your back. <clears throat> if there's room, take a nice stretch. Tips of fingers all the way down to the tips of the toes. And then releasing the hands down the side of the body. The final resting pose here, a little space between the hands, a little space between the hands and the body, <laughs> a little space between the feet. Those in the eyes now. Final snooze button. Just surrender our awareness back to consciousness.
to the body. Taking a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Nice release inside out through the mouth. The toes a nice gentle wiggle. Give the fingers a nice gentle wiggle. Just allowing the head to roll over to the left. <clears throat> and gently bringing it back to centre and off over to the right. It comes back to the middle, take a nice inhale, stretch the arms up overhead, taking a nice long stretch, tips of fingers all the way down to the tips of the toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Bringing the right hand towards the belly, bring the right knee in towards the belly, and as you roll over to the left hand side. Just keeping your eyes closed. <clears throat> Coming up to a nice comfortable seated position. <clears throat> Duvet wrapped around you, of course. Hands to heart centre. Danyabad, which is thank you. And namaste. Either have a beautiful day or a beautiful night's sleep. Goodbye.